If the INFJ was more willing to explain themselves in their everyday interactions, they may not feel as misunderstood as they do. However, with such complex findings through their deep self-analytical tendencies, the things they want people to know in order to feel that sense of acknowledgement don't necessarily come up in day-to-day -day conversations. Welcome, or welcome back, psychos! Today, we're going to be discussing the things INFJs wish people knew before meeting them. Before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel, as well as to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Alright, let's get right into the video, starting with number one. They talk, just ask them about something they're interested in. Yes, INFJs are introverted, and yes, they may be reluctant to small talk. However, this type is also simultaneously seeking human connection in every interaction they have. The difficult part is that, at the same time, INFJs can read whether or not they'll be genuinely interested from the get-go. And if not, you probably won't get their full enthusiastic potential. Number 2. Their answers are rarely black and white. INFJs can easily see multiple points of views, and prefer to do so in most situations. In fact, most INFJs can't help but to logically see the perspective and viewpoints of people and moods involved quite easily. So, if they seem rather indecisive, or even as if they tend to play devil's advocate, it's best to remember they can't shut this autopilot function off. Number 3. It's difficult to conversate with people who aren't able to consider other perspectives. People who can see only their perspective can irritate an INFJ because they aren't a fan of narrow-minded thinking. Regardless of their own need to analyze all angles, one of their main interests happens to be diving into philosophical ideas that don't have any solid answers in the first place. Number 4. They can be brutally honest, but they mean no harm. With intuitive findings that are difficult not to share with their loved ones, INFJs have a difficult time sugarcoating some things. Should they get a hunch or just plainly observe something that requires some kind of warning, they will use their logical nature to give a well thought out and utterly honest opinion. They can be seriously comforting, but INFJs won't always be the ones to tell you what you want to hear. Number 5. They're actually afraid to share their deepest thoughts. The reason INFJs are hesitant to share their deepest thoughts is because they fear the criticisms that could come with that exposure. They don't always admit it, but they take other people's viewpoint unnecessarily seriously at times, hence why they only seem to open up to people that they truly trust and love. Even then, they'll still have regrets. Number 6. They do have a silly side beneath their seriousness. Speaking of only opening up to those they trust, it's the same thing when it comes to an INFJ's surprisingly silly side. With a rather serious exterior, when this type does actually step away from their deep thoughts and allow themselves to let their hair down, even those who think they know an INFJ well can be rather taken aback. Number 7. They often contemplate what the end picture looks like. Future-focused with a struggle to stay in the present moment, it's no wonder why INFJs are often stuck wondering what will this all amount to when all is said and done. In fact, some INFJs think about this on a daily basis, making that very question a seemingly difficult distraction to overlook. This means every decision is influenced by an underlying wonderment of how it will ripple into the world, which can make them seem rather indecisive. Number 8. They are terrified of hurting feelings. Speaking of the ripple effect, INFJs try to avoid hurting others' feelings at all costs. Despite their ability to serve real and raw truth to people that may not want to hear it, they will do anything in their power to come off as helpful rather than judgmental. They have a hard time telling it like it is in situations where it could hurt someone's feelings. In other words, just because they're eating that famous casserole doesn't mean they like it. They may just want to spare the feelings of the cook. Number 9. Money isn't a key focus in their lives. INFJs are much more inclined to become motivated over the purpose and meaning of the work they're doing over the financial reward. In fact, some people with this type have a hard time integrating the need for money in order to sustain their living and the want to just live. 
Plus, for the most part, they're not big spenders, so money isn't as enticing to them as some other life experiences that come without a price tag. Number 10. They always have underlying stress, and without it, they don't feel like themselves. As much as this personality type is known for bringing balance and harmony to chaotic situations, they actually require this underlying stress to feel useful. Because of that, INFJs are known to be rather stressed in their day-to-day -day lives. However, luckily for this type, stress doesn't mean taking it out through road rage, rushing, and irritability. For the INFJ, it's actually usually kept quite internal, meaning they seem more cool and collected than they probably are up in the attic. Number 11. They have a surprisingly short social battery. When INFJs set out to socialize, it tends to be much deeper and more mentally taxing of a task compared to the average person. And that can be an exhausting job. INFJs have to really try when they socialize. They're constantly trying to keep their iceberg of deep thoughts in a safe place while keeping themselves from being distracted by observing the reactions and body language of others too closely. This means, while you may be able to get them to show up for a social outing, they probably won't stay long. Number 12. They are brain-picking type. On the topic of efforts that go into the INFJ's socializing habits, while it can come off as rather intrusive at times, the INFJ can't help but to pick at people's brains until they have a good sense of who they are. Besides that, individual people, as well as humanity as a whole, really catch the attention of the INFJ. They love peeling back the layers of different walks of life, discovering interesting personalities, and learning what makes someone tick. Number 13. They will dive deep if you let them. Whatever INFJs choose to talk about, know that it's always just the tip of the iceberg. INFJs spend a lot of time in their own minds, and so every topic dives deep into their consciousness. If you get an INFJ going on a topic, it may be difficult to get them to stop. Number 14. They actually want to be appreciated and acknowledged. When it comes to their hard work and personal accomplishments, the INFJ personality type almost never pats themselves on the back. With high expectations for themselves, it's rare that they're not looking for the next best goal to reach or analyzing their accomplishments to see how they could have gotten there faster or scored higher. Because of that, they actually really appreciate being appreciated. While their independence may convince others otherwise, who doesn't like to be acknowledged for their skills and effort? Number 15. Without passion, they have no direction. If you know an INFJ that seems to have lost all motivation for their work or current life circumstances, they're probably ready for their next endeavor. When INFJs work on a project or at a job that they're not passionate about, their focus goes out the window to the point that their mind will purposefully distract them to avoid the task at hand. They seek meaning in everything they do, and without that, they're just not their normal perfectionistic and ambitious selves. Number 16. They love one-on-one -on -one time. INFJs love emotional intimacy, even with their closest friends and family. Large group settings don't have the same genuinity and connection as a one-on-one -on -one interaction. With a more intimate setting, the INFJ can socialize as they prefer to, with depth, uninterrupted analyzing, and the ability to freely download the details they uncover. Number 17. They aren't materialistic, but they'll get the best of the best. Like we mentioned, INFJs don't need many materialistic possessions to keep them happy. But when they do purchase something, they will search for the best quality item that will last a lifetime. So, while they're not frequent spenders or fans of trending brand names, they certainly value the concept of spending for quality. Number 18. There is always a method to their madness. If it wasn't for the INFJ's convincing maturity, there's no question whether or not more people would question their decisions in life. They can seem rather chancy, precarious, and even spontaneous at times. However, in reality, everything is calculated to some degree. In fact, it's usually a rather complex degree at that. INFJs don't jump and hope that a net appears, they intricately weave and fasten their net before any sudden changes. And if that net rips, you can be sure they have their patch kit. So, when INFJs say you can trust them with decisions, they mean it. Number 19. They are constantly questioning their purpose. 
as most of us do, INFJs often ponder about what they should be doing in the world, and if what they're doing is what they're supposed to be doing. For this type, however, the need to find purpose is felt so strongly that they can easily become dissatisfied in life when they feel like they're not making strides towards their long-awaited discovery. And with that comes our last point. Number 20. Their dissatisfaction is their biggest motivator and their worst enemy. What is considered to be good enough is almost never good enough to an INFJ. Sometimes this can suck the fun out of life. However, at the same time, just like that underlying stress they're so used to experiencing in life, dissatisfaction has its place in how the INFJ feels accomplished. While it can seem like a rather paradoxical concept, this discontentedness can inspire them to make the necessary changes. In other words, a dissatisfied INFJ is nothing to be alarmed by. Well, psychos, that's it for today. Before you go, let us know in the comments below of something you wish people knew about you without having to say it. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.